Happy New Year, fudgies, and welcome back to Bunches of Lunches. I have so many fun but easy lunch ideas to share with you. This week, the kids went back to school after Christmas break, and it was also Mackenzie's ninth birthday, so I made a very special lunch for her. Now, before we get started, make sure to come back tomorrow morning for the all new subscriber lunch series. That's where you guys get to send me your lunch ideas. And if the mystery wheel picks your name, I'll go ahead and make your lunch in the video. And I'll go ahead and put a link in the description box below if you'd like to send me your ideas. And without further ado, let's get into the lunches. Hey guys, and welcome to Monday. Can you guess what our theme is today? That's right, it's Mickey Mouse. We love Mickey Mouse so much. This Monday, I'm marking the return of PB&J Monday, but I'm not just gonna make any PB&J. I'm gonna try using this sandwich stamp and crust cutter. I can't remember if I bought this at Disneyland or Disney World, but it's been sitting in my garage for quite a while, and I'm finally going to give it a try. And for today's PB&J, I'm going with the classic chunky peanut butter with strawberry jam. Now before I cut the crust off the sandwich, I'm supposed to use the stamp first, but I know if I use my food writer pen on the stamp first, the stamp should work a lot better. So I'm gonna stamp that right down in there, then use the crust cutter, and there it is. The stamp did work, but the crust cutter not so much. To go along with our PB&J today, I'm also gonna add some celery sticks with a little container of natural peanut butter to dip in. And then for our fruit, I found these really cute Mickey Mouse apples. These are actually just gala apples from Costco, but they do have really fun Disney stickers on them. I'll go ahead and slice these up and sprinkle a little bit of lemon juice on them just so they won't turn brown as fast. And these apple slices are gonna be really good for dipping in the peanut butter as well. Next, I'm going to add some veggie chips, but these are actually Mickey-shaped veggie chips. These chips are made of broccoli, carrots, potatoes, tomatoes, and beets, but they're actually really tasty, and they're gluten-free too. But honestly, the thing I like most about them is that they're cute. To go along with that, I also have a new kind of yogurt snack for the kids to try. These are the Go-Gurt Dunkers. The kids have never had them before. It's basically low-fat vanilla yogurt with graham cracker sticks. And then last but not least, I'm also throwing in some apple juice. And yes, I picked the kind with Mickey Mouse on them too. And there you have it, a very fun but easy Mickey-themed lunch. Okay guys, lunchtime is over and as you can tell, they ate almost everything. Although Lily still has her little yogurt snack, she's gonna save that for later. But what did you think, Mackenzie? What was your favorite? My favorite part was the Dunkers. Yeah, those are good, huh? Mm -hmm. You guys drink all your juice. And your sandwich is gone. Good job. Jackson, what was your favorite? Um, I like the... The yogurt dippers, yeah. Did you throw yours away? Uh-huh. And last but not least, Miss Lily, what do you think? Um, my favorite was the bread. The bread, the sandwich? Yeah. Yeah. It was cool because it had Mickey on it, right? <laughs> yeah. We'll see you tomorrow, friends. Goodbye. Hey there, fudgies, and welcome to Tuesday. Today I'm packing a hot lunch, but today's lunch is also nut free. I'm gonna start by heating up some really good hot dogs. These are uncured all beef hot dogs. And before I heat them up, I like to cut them in half. That way they fit much easier in my kids' thermoses. I can add them right in there and they will definitely stay hot until lunchtime. And since I cut their hot dog in half, I'm also gonna cut their bun in half. That way they can make two little hot dogs for their lunch. And the bun fits much better in my lunchbox too. Now I don't know about you guys, but I love to have ketchup and mustard with my hot dogs and so do my kids. So I've added a little bit to these squeezy containers from the Dollar Tree. Next, I'm gonna add lots of cucumbers. And for our fruit today, I'm keeping it super simple. I'm gonna throw in some diced peaches. Next, I'm gonna throw in a yogurt tube, but these are actually new. I just found these at Target the other day. These are made by Chobani brand, so they're actually Greek yogurt. They have a little bit less sugar in them, and these are in the cherry flavors. So we shall see if they like them or not. 
For a special treat today, I'm gonna throw in this tiny bag of mini Oreos, but my kids will definitely be happy to see them. And then last but not least, I'm also gonna throw in some really fun juice bottles. These ones have the PJ Masks characters on them. Just don't ask me what the characters' names are, because honestly, I don't know. But she's over now. What'd you think, Lily? What was your favorite part? Um, these. The peaches? Yeah, but I was kind of full. Yeah, I see you ate almost all of your hot dog and bun. But did you eat any cucumbers? Um, I don't really like them since you didn't put ranch. Oh yeah, I did forget the ranch. What did you think, Kenzie? It was cool. <laughs> it's like you ate everything. What was your favorite part? Hmm, my favorite part was the peaches. Peaches, yeah, those are yummy. And Jackson, you ate your hot dog, but you didn't eat your bread? No, I don't like them. No, you're gonna be gluten-free with your hot dog? Uh, yeah, no, I don't know what that means. <laughs> what was your favorite part? Um, I like the peaches and the hot dog. Oh, okay. We'll see you tomorrow. Hey guys, and welcome to Wednesday. Today I'm making another hot lunch for the kids because it's super chilly outside. But super chilly for us is like 44 degrees, so it's not too bad. But for today's lunch, I'm gonna start by reheating some leftover potato soup. This is a loaded baked potato soup. I have a really good recipe. I'll go ahead and link it down below if you'd like to check it out. It's basically a copycat recipe from the Disneyland potato soup. For our fruit today, I'm gonna add a scoop of green grapes, and I'll go ahead and put a cute little elephant pick in there just for fun. For our vegetable, I'm gonna add some crinkle cut carrots. To go along with this lunch today, I'm also gonna give the kids a really fun snack, which is popcorn. And I'm also gonna throw in another new kind of yogurt for the kids to try. Hashtag not sponsored. I found these ones at Target as well. These are also the Chobani brand, and these actually claim to be a yogurt milkshake. So they might be a little bit thicker, I'm guessing. And these ones are really interesting too because they come with a straw. Most yogurt drinks don't. For a special treat today, I'm also throwing in a little package of Nutter Butters. Now, I actually prefer Nutter Butters over Oreo cookies. You'll have to let me know what you like best. I'll go ahead and put a poll right up here, and you can let me know. And then last but not least, I'm just gonna throw in a juice pouch from Trader Joe's. And that is everything in today's lunch. Let's see how they do. Lunch is over now, and here's what we ate. So as you guys can probably tell, they liked everything except for the soup. Not one of the kids finished their soup. What was wrong with it? Uh... Nothing. There was nothing wrong with that soup. I think it's really good. Well, why don't you tell me what your favorite part was anyway? My favorite part was the drink. The yogurt drink? Uh-huh. Yeah. What was your favorite, Kenzie? Hmm, my favorite part was the milkshake. The yogurt milkshake, yeah. But what about the soup? Um, I'm not sure. What'd you think, Lily? What was your favorite? Um, I don't know. You don't know? Yeah. Did you like any of it? My favorite was the yogurt drink and popcorn. See you tomorrow. Happy Thursday, guys. Today, I'm actually gonna be making Mackenzie's birthday lunch. And as you can tell, she picked out an emoji theme. And I really think she chose this because it also came with these fun squishies. And that's fine with me because I love squishies too. These ones are super slow rising and pretty fun. Now, since this is Mackenzie's birthday lunch, she picked out all of these things, starting with her favorite, egg salad. I make our egg salad pretty simple. I'm just gonna start by slicing up about five eggs. And then I just put a little bit of mayonnaise, salt, pepper, onion powder, and dill pickles in there. I'm gonna add the egg salad to some yummy Costco croissants. And then I am gonna go ahead and cut these in half because one would just be too much for each kid. Next, I'm gonna go ahead and add these really cute happy birthday picks right into the sandwich. This is gonna keep our sandwich closed and hopefully the eggs will not spill out everywhere. For today's vegetable, Mackenzie requested sugar snap peas with ranch, of course. I'm not gonna forget the ranch today. For the fruit, she picked out some red grapes. I'm gonna go ahead and stick another happy birthday pick in there. And then to go along with that, I have a new chip for them to try. I know Mackenzie loves barbecue chips, and these are very similar, but these are actually an air puffed potato snack in a really fun wagon wheel shape. So they're baked, 
they're not fried, and they're gluten-free too. I think they sound really good. I'll go ahead and give each kid a little container full, and this container will hopefully keep them from getting crushed. For snack time today, the kids have two different new yogurts to choose from. Again, I found these at Target, and these are the Chobani brand. The kids can choose a cotton candy flavored one, this one has Pop Rocks in it, or a cookie flavored one. I think either flavor will be perfect for snack time. And then last but not least, I have a very special tiny treat for this birthday lunch, these really cute vanilla cupcakes. And there you have it, a very special lunch for a very special birthday girl. Okay, Kenzie, what do you think of your birthday lunch? I really liked it. What was your favorite part? Basically everything. <laughs> because it was all your favorites, right? Yeah. What do you think of the uh, yogurt? It was interesting because there was Pop Rocks in it. Yeah, I don't think I would like that. I didn't try it, but I just like plain yogurt. And I'm surprised that everybody else ate their egg salad because they don't really like that. I think I made it really. I think I made it really good this time. So I added extra pickles. Lily probably didn't know. <laughs> what did you think, Jack? I really liked it. What was your favorite? The muffin and the yogurt. And what about you, Lil? Did you like the egg salad? Um, yeah. But what was your favorite? The cupcake was the best. <laughs> See you tomorrow. Hey friends, and happy Friday. For today's fun lunch, I'm going with a Trolls theme. And today's lunch is going to be inspired by a Lunchable with a few differences. Starting with the meat of our Lunchable, today I'm using some uncured salami, and to make it really fun, I've rolled each piece up and stuck it on a pick. I'm also putting the salami in a separate container, that way it won't get our crackers all soggy. And speaking of crackers, normally I would put Ritz crackers, but today I'm gonna add some Triscuit crackers. The kids have never had these before. I think they're pretty good, so we'll see what the kids think. Now, of course, it wouldn't be a Lunchable without some cheese, so I have just a few pieces of Havarti and cheddar, which I've cut into the shape of a flower. I thought that would be perfect for our Trolls-themed lunch. Next, I'm gonna add a few slices of cucumber and some baby carrots. And then for the fruit today, I'm keeping it super simple. I'm gonna throw in an applesauce pouch, but this is actually an apple strawberry flavored one. Oh yes, and I can't forget the ranch to go with our veggies. And then, since the kids chose the cotton candy flavored yogurt yesterday, they're gonna have the cookie flavored yogurt today. And then last but not least, some really cute Trolls drinks. But I only have one branch and one poppy. So one of the kids is gonna get Hello Kitty instead. These drinks are so fun and they're reusable. Oh yes, and I can't forget one special treat today. I found these troll gummies at my grocery store and I thought it'd be a perfect thing to throw in there. I know Miss Lily will especially love these. Lunch is over now and here's what we ate. Overall, I think they did really well today. I just see a few things left in here and that's not bad. We did go ahead and save the yogurts for later. Nobody was that hungry today, huh? No. But we can save it for later, it's still good. What was your favorite part? My favorite part was the gummies. What did you think of the Triscuits? You'd never had those crackers before. Mm, they were kind of hard, actually. Would you prefer Ritz crackers or these ones? I like Ritz crackers better. Oh, okay. Okay, Jack, what did you think? Uh, I really liked it. What was your favorite part? Um, I like the Triscuit. The Triscuit? Uh -huh. Cool. Lily, did you have a favorite? Um, gummies? The gummies. Everyone likes the gummies, of course. What did you think of these crackers? Do you like these crackers or, or the regular crackers better? Thumbs to the side. Thumbs to the side. Make sure to come back tomorrow for a special episode of Bunches of Lunches. That's right, tomorrow's episode is Subscriber's Choice. So I picked five of your lunches and I made them. See you tomorrow.